Good morning, Lego Island. Today's forecast is hot, hot, hot. What? What do you mean this is... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong script. Oh, uh... Uh... Uh, go, good morning, everyone, to welcome to PNF 404, where we have an apocalypse of the leafy arboreal variety. Let's administer that cure. Let's just pour it on their skin and let the rejuvenation... You're just a dark skin version of the, the copite that we got. Like, actually, basically the same. The president of Tobo Real Estate, Chowder. He followed his whims in real estate for 27 years. Now he travels the galaxy, expecting his next big idea to pop out of nowhere. He is from the planet of Kohohan. Our work might could stop here if we wanted, but then people would die and we don't want that. That would kind of suck. Hello? Thank you again for saving us. I don't think we'd be alive if not for you. No? York, uh, sorry, Yorky. That reminds me, we saw you get sucked up into that onion, but you seem completely normal. Are there any sort of abnormalities that we are missing? Any leaves grown on you at all? Um, not that I've noticed. So strange. I can't help but wonder why you didn't turn into a leafling. Hmm. The juice? They mentioned they drank it. Oh, that's right. I bet it's because of all that glowing juice we drank. Of course. You were ingesting nearly pure glow sap. So the leaves m must have been broken down before they could sprout. Which means you have leaves inside your body. It's just a theory, but an interesting one at that. I don't suppose you'd let me conduct an ex examination later. Well, hey! If Yanni's theory is correct. Hello? Hel Yanni's theory? Just gonna gloss over me? Okay. Alright. Alright. That I see how it is. Then Nelly may not have been turned into a leafling either. Da -da -da You'll still rescue her though, right? Good yes, please. We need your help. So far. Calm down now. Of course, we intend to rescue her. That is kind of why we are here. Nelly is waiting for us deep in the forest. Let us hurry up and find her. We can't let her and Ochi down. Copy that. Cure 15 leaflings complete, and we have more leaflings in need of, of curing, but uh, I, I'm, ma I'm making it a trend. We're going to complete all of the night missions when we have unlocked all of them, and as far as I know, we haven't. Have we? I know we've gotten two. Maybe we've gotten three. No, we've gotten two. Yeah, there's one last landing site that is yet to be discovered. The final one. All right. Let's redeem ourselves. And by ourselves, I mean me. I... This isn't the one that I messed up majorly. I, I was only, I think I was six points off of completing it, and so what I'm, I'm gonna aim to do is, yeah, I'm gonna go this way to start, because I'll have all of my Pikmin, and then, come on, die, there. I'll ha have all of my Pikmin, I can start dealing with this, since I'll have flying Pikmin, I'll have the Cinder Cones, this is probably the... Honestly, the optimal path here. Oh! <laughs> okay. That, um... I don't know if that's what happens in normal caves, but it happened here, and I don't know what to think about that. I got magneted onto him. Okay. Uh, well, cool. Uh, let's switch to Ochi and wrap this challenge up. What do you say? That wasn't too difficult. Scattered? Yes. But a lot of these challenges almost look like they need multiple passes where you... I mean, the, the ice one is no different, where I need to start everything on fire and then, and then clear it out for real. This is very similar to that. It's... It's weird. 
Um, they they kind of train you at the very beginning that they want you to clear out rooms when you do them, or areas, rather. Uh, but, but then they introduce this, where it's like, no, 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 you have to clear the entire thing on a surface level, like, three times. Where you have to start everything abla ablaze f at first, fight all the enemies with the red Pikmin, and then convert all of your red Pikmin to pinks, and then carry all the gold back, because it's gonna save time in the long run. I'll carry it back lickety-split. I'm just waiting on the gold and the tomato. In fact, I can grab these ice Pikmin and put them on the gold. If it's not done by the time I get there, which it is. I can just casually follow this one Pikmin back, because he's the last guy. I, I never thought this one was difficult. Except when I thought that there was fire- the fire was at the very end, not the absolute beginning. Had I known that- had I, you know, used my- my ocular receptors, then I would have breezed through this on fir the first try. Like, I think I actually would have. This one was not difficult. I didn't retry the, it once. I mean, this is my retry, but like, coming back to this recording session, being somewhat cold, I, I did it, no problem. It's not hard. Killer. Oh, it's you again. This is fascinating. I was able to confirm that the onion has fused. Please keep collecting different onions. I love them all. I love onions. They have so many layers. Treasure Hunter Yoki at your service. Thank you again for rescuing me. You're welcome. Do you have anything else to say? When Dobbs is feeling cheery, he's been known to share stories about his time as a ranger. He had a partner he called Ducky. Some days they were best buds, other days, well, things weren't so ducky. And that's the story about how I am actually a war criminal. Wow. What a riveting tale. I will sleep well tonight. Uh, where, who am I talking to next? Is there anyone... Oh, you're somebody I can talk to. Oh, man. For real humble. Real estate agent, I sure did cause you quite the hassle, didn't I? The name's Chowder, by the way. Don't suppose you've heard of Tobo Real Estate. You haven't, huh? Guess I need to work on my marketing. When you're in business as a real estate agent, let me tell you, hearing about new untouched land really puts the pep back in your step. You just have to go check it out for yourself. After all, you can't give the place a, your seal of approval sight unseen. You gotta experience it in person first. I'm alive and well thanks to you. My whole life's been a series of things working out, like those houses on Moyama. I thought I got conned after buying those old houses. Then the TV reports are booming the old house market across space. And just look at what happened this time. Not only was I saved by you, but I'm also investigating the land. But you're also investigating the land I came to see. Man, I had this dream of becoming the number one real estate agent in the whole universe. Be it day or night, weekend or holiday, still call in my employees. It didn't occur to me to be an issue since I was working too. I got so caught up in doing it for the dream that I ended up letting down everyone who worked for me. But it's fine because I'm taking back home that bag. You know what I'm saying? In spite of everything, my very talented... Secretary Kays keeps on singing my praises. I haven't a clue why. Not, not that I mind or anything. So I've already sorted out plots for the Sung Speckled Terrace. I think it would be the perfect place to start selling from. Hmm, now for the sales pitch. How about something like be one of the first to call this new world home? Do they all have this much dialogue? Blossoming Arcadia, no doubt about it. What makes this place special is the beautiful petals always drifting about. You can build a whole subdivision under those trees with the slogan, Come live in the town where petals float down. With just a glance, you can see that the serene shores is perfect for a resort. So perfect it already has a foundation. Makes its exciting sales pitches come to mind. The best summer vacation. Arrive whenever and stay as long as you want. Oh man, Heroes Hideaway, doesn't this one look like an indoor leisure facility? If we tag it with Journey to an Unknown Planet or something and use Pikmin as mascots, it's sure to be hugely popular. Giant's Hearth already has live coals and a stove. You see it too, right? It's the perfect campground. 
A magical blaze, a refreshing fountain, and a reverberating wind howl return to nature. But no wandering at night. That's ominous. When you're in business as a real estate agent, let me tell you what, boy, hearing about new untouched land really puts the pet back in your step. I already said this, and it's been a long time since I recycled dialogue. That's insane. Um, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful to you for rescuing my employer. This couldn't possibly be enough. You've done so very much for us, but please take this. Ah, there you are. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know why I t made him Albert Wesker. I would like to sincerely thank you, Chris, once again for all your help and for coming to our aid, Jeff and Ochi. My employer doesn't always consider the risk to himself. His first priority is making enough money to pay his employees. He's always putting us first. I honestly don't know what the company would do without him. My employer is a natural salesperson through and through. He talks about the scorching desert on cigarette, calling it a place that's blessed with abundant natural light. He's described the steep rocky mountains on Flukeway as the best place for a home with stunning views in every room. The lush jungle on Oiji. Uji is a relaxing environment when you're surrounded by the beauty of nature. That's how he convinces potential clients to come out and look at those properties. It doesn't always result in a sale, but it's worth a try, I suppose. It's not what you say, but how you say it, right? Indeed. Indeed. You're making some real good progress cured, folks. You know what that means. Reward time. Take a lot of money. Which you probably means you have enough to upgrade something. Air armor plus plus. Honestly, the only reason I'm getting this is because I have want to have pl I, I want to have plastic left over for exploration. And the air armor plus plus for Ochi costs 240. So we're tougher now. Yay! No? I took a closer look at that S SOS signal and saw that the rest of the castaways are located in the area we just uncovered. Nelly, the veterinarian, should be among them. We are getting close. Also, did you notice that Louis left behind this book? It's full of recipes, many of which look extremely delicious, but they don't mention cooking people. I, I know that sounds weird, but I think I might have made some mistakes in the past couple of weeks or months, and I think the biggest among them was not thinking about how the beasts of this this planet could be cooked and eaten. But this Louis fellow seems to be onto something, and his cuisine seems omnipotent in its design. Oh boy. Oh boy! What's the last area called? Primordial Thicket. That has to be it. And it has eight captains in it, so it's not a Final Trial-esque area. It's a real area. That makes me excited. Maybe it's not even the last area. That would be... If it wasn't, I, I dare say this might be the longest Pikmin game. It, it would be close. As it stands, this is an impressive length. And definitely makes up for how short Pikmin 3 was. Let's go back to the Giant's Hearth. And uh, maybe get 31% completion today. Today is is ambitious, and uh, oh boy, I'm I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to be able to pull today off. And I've also been putting off a topic that I've really wanted to talk about, but I probably shouldn't if I want to get something done. I wanted to talk about, in my opinion, what the perfect Pikmin game would look like in my eyes. And this area is actually very reminiscent of the theme that I wanted to go with for, for that game. My idea was making it not open world, but the idea is that you have three 
to five captains that crash land on on uh, PNF 404. Jump, jump, throw, throw. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I messed that up, so I'm, I'm going to go around. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Uh, you guys. One, two, three. You guys can make ten trips. The idea is that you have multiple captains that crash land on the planet, and they have to survive at night. Sound familiar for this game? Yeah. It's kind of weird that I came up with this idea so far in the past, but this has been my hope for, like, the what I would love to see from this series. Ochi, are you stupid? Okay, you are, but bless your heart. Uh, maybe while they wait... Yeah, you know what? We're gonna- we're gonna do this. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. That's the button! Yay! I did it! Uh, we're gonna send Ochi away right now. Since I actually have to. Climb up here. And immediately switch. And Ochi... Oh yeah, Ochi needs to tackle this, doesn't he? Okay, that's gonna be... I know what to do. Go back to base, and Ochi's going to put some Pikmin away, and then also move base. Five captains that are separated at the very start of the game. And they have to survive both in day and night, and you go into caves as refuge during... Um, I might need yellows for that. That's awkward. There's a captain there. I can't... This pot isn't something I can target. Uh, going back to base. That's... That's awkward, because... I don't have all of my, uh... I don't have all of my rock pikmin. Okay. What I was talking about. Uh, you have to survive in, in caves at night, and, uh, you- certain captains have certain colors of Pikmin, and that's it. The longer you- you spend in an area progressing it, uh, summons literally the final boss, which chases after you during the day, and so you have to be very careful as to not, uh, attract its attention. Um, and you might have to hide in caves from the final boss. Uh, but you use Flying Pikmin to ferry Pikmin and resources back and forth between the other captains, and eventually... Okay, um, we're gonna do this. Disband everyone. Disband. You are gonna take... Blues. And... You're gonna take reds and give Ochi two reds and go back to the top of this where you will then handle things. And Ochi, you, good job, are going to go back here and deal with the Wally Hops. Okay, all right, all right. Get ready, get set, go. Good, we have health them. I'll have my charge back. Charge? Ah! Okay. Whoa. Get out of the way. I think we lost a couple. But... Get out of the way. That's the wrong color Pikmin. And it cost me... Got one. And now I'm gonna have to dis disband and quickly switch. Deal with the sword. Deal with the sword. I can't make that shot. Do I have to go down inside? I think I do. I need... Yeah, okay. So then you're gonna go here. Oh, but you need Ochi! Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay. Alright. This is gonna be tough. 
Ochi, you're gonna have to make this make this go really fast. Disband. Disband. Uh, can I go to my pack and use an ice blast? Get ready for charging. Go! I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Keep biting. Whistle! Whistle! Get ready to pre throw. Get the charge ready. Go! Nice. Okay, you're dead. You guys deal with that. Get the plastic. You dig. You guys get all of that plastic. And I'm gonna have to follow you, I guess. No, they'll be back, so they can they can complete that. If not, I can at least weave between these. It's not the end of the world. Switch. I guess Jeff is gonna have to do nothing for the time being. Come on. It's down on the D-pad. Let's make that go quicker. Come on. Speed it up, guys. Speed it up. I don't have all day. Okay, maybe I should whistle them back. Are they done? We waiting? Come on. You guys are so slow. Hurry. Hurry. I should have moved the base if it, I knew it was going to take this long. Come on. I literally do not have all day. I have one day. Because if I have to spend more than one day in here, it's not going to be good. Get it done. I'm pre-throwing. I hate that I have to whistle Pikmin like 45 times now. Go, go, go. I might, ha I might use Spicy Spray all day. Legitimately. I'm heavily considering doing that. Okay. So what we need to do is meet up with Jeffrey. Who is... Over there. And if anything, they almost need to swap places. Yeah. If they swap places, that's... That's what needs to happen. Come on, guys. Come on, Pikmin. Oh, my word. Pikmin, get on me. <laughs> Why are you so dumb? The more I play this game, the more I legitimately wonder if this is the stupidest Pikmin have ever been. Like, more so than Pikmin 1. There are just times where it seems like they do the exact wrong thing. It's nuts how stupid they are sometimes in this game. Ochi included. And I think partially is it's a little bit of over-ambition. Jump. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Run, 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 run. Go! Yes. Okay. Okay. We have not seen one of you before. And a, an iridescent? gonna keep throwing. We got a treasure from that too. Yes. Oh, that's cool. I, I like that. That's a cool idea. Die. Okay. Please. Please die. Yeah, I think part of it is this kind of like over ambition of of the game that has so much going on that you kind of just have to... There are so many moving parts, basically, um, that a lot is just kind of destined to go wrong. But it, like, it is sometimes mind-boggling how stupid the Pikmin are, especially when it comes to the Cinder Cones. Like, you th I'll, I'll give a prime example, as I know I've ditched my perfect Pikmin game concept. 
This Pikmin is now idle, but not forever. He's idle sometimes, and it's like, why? Why would you design it like that? It, it's, it's so silly, some of the design choices they made with the Pikmin AI, that in other Pikmin games, it's just, it's, that's not a thing. But there's, I mean, look at, look at all the stuff I'm having to do here. I'm having to platform. So it makes sense. Can I make that? I can. Barely. Wow. It makes sense that they're a little bit derpy. It just, I don't know, sometimes it just wild how they work. I, I'm doing... Oh, wait, you have a voice, don't you? Today, we Dandori. Tomorrow, we Dandori more. Um, doing the... And I talk about this in the, the Olimar side stories, but... The lack of a C-Stick really hurts this game, in my opinion. 